true story. It's the story of Lazaro Borges. Borges is one of the best pole vaulters in Cuba, made it as far as to qualify for the London 2012 Olympic Games. On the day of the semi-finals, Borges takes a deep breath, he begins to run, accelerates, plants his pole to the ground, prepares to jump, when suddenly his pole breaks. And not just cleanly to two holes, mind you, it literally snaps into three pieces. That was pretty dramatic to see, but it's explainable by physics. Physicists have indeed shown that any rod-like structure, such as a pole, can never just break into only two pieces. It always breaks into at least three. And they discovered that not by stunning a pole, but something much shorter than a pole, much thinner than a pole, but it has the same physics as a pole. Namely, a spaghetti. So today I'll be telling you about the physics of breaking a spaghetti. <laughs> Please do try to reproduce that at home. Take a spaghetti, bend it, break it, and count how many pieces you get. Sorry for that. You always get more than three. Why is that? Sounds like magic, right? Why is it impossible to just break a spaghetti simply in two? Well, let me explain. When you bend the spaghetti, you increase its curvature until it exceeds the maximal curvature the spaghetti can bear, and the spaghetti breaks for first time into one, two, two pieces. But that's very far from being the end of the story. There is now a free extremity that is held by neither of my hands, and that is therefore free to oscillate, thereby creating waves that propagate along the spaghetti. But my hand is still there, so these waves cannot propagate any further and get, the, get reflected back the other way. There are now two waves that propagate along my spaghetti, the original wave and the reflected wave. And they add up, creating even more distortion in my spaghetti. This phenomenon is known as the interference of two waves in physics. And because of interference, the distortion shoots up again at some point of the spaghetti, causing it to break for a second time. And I now have a total of one, two, three, three pieces. That's why you get at least three pieces, because of interference. And remember, this is true for any rod-like object, not just a spaghetti. So whether you are an engineer trying to craft some carbon nanotube fibers, or maybe a biologist interested in the mechanics of microtubules in human cells, or just an industrial trying to make an unbreakable pole for athletes like Borges. Remember, start by breaking a spaghetti. Thank you.